Hey moms and dads, Mr. Tim here with some instructions on a package you're going to be receiving in the next couple days. If you haven't already received it, be looking for it because it's on its way. Uh, this package uh, consists of an Easter Advent activity for you and your family. That is a, a devotional for your family to do each day of the week leading up to Easter. So inside the package you're going to find the uh, Easter Advent activity calendar. So there's a calendar followed with some uh, preparation instructions. And then each additional page um, will be one of the eight devotions that you're going to, to lead your family in. Um, also inside this package, you're going to find two pieces of cardstock. One is brown and has a cross printed on it. The other is white and has eight color pictures printed on it. Um, and in preparation, you or, or the kids will cut all of this out uh, ahead of time. Um, and you're also going to find in your package eight uh, sticky glue dots uh, that will be used to glue these pictures onto the cross um, as you do each devotion. Um, now these glue dots uh, can be frustrating. They don't always want to lay flat. They kind of roll up in little balls and, and everything, but they're still adhesive. Um, you don't have to use these. We're just trying to give you as much as we can to make this as easy uh, for you to do as possible. Feel free to use regular tape or uh, glue stick, whatever you have around the house. Um, we just wanted to, to give you as much as we could um, in, in doing this activity. Now, as you prepare to do these activities or these uh, devotions, um, know that it's not our goal to add one more thing to your plate. We understand that the last few weeks have been very stressful. Um, on top of the kids being home from school um, and some of you working uh, from home, uh, some of you are still having to go to work um, and you're trying to figure out what to do with the kids while you're at work. Uh, I understand there's, there's been a lot of stress and, and this Easter Advent uh, activity is not uh, meant to add one more layer of stress uh, to your week. What we're trying to do is e to equip you to be the spiritual leader at home, especially since uh, you're not able to come to church right now um, and, and join us and the kids aren't able to come to Discovery Street. We're trying to do everything in our power to equip you to be the spiritual leader at home. So take this serious. Uh, take this Advent um, activity and uh, set aside uh, some time each day of the week leading up to Easter. Maybe it is uh, right before dinner time. You all gather around the dinner table and uh, you, you do the, the devotion. It shouldn't take more than five to ten minutes to do it. And then uh, you pray together and then you eat. Um, or maybe you do it before bed. Or it's the first thing you do when you get up in the morning. Whenever you decide to do it, set a schedule. Um, and try to do it at the same time in the same place every day. That will take a lot of stress off your plate by knowing when it's going to do happen and, and how you're going to do it ahead of time will, will uh, help drastically. So schedule the time and place for the, the devotion. Um, second, read, read the devotion ahead of time. Uh, prepare yourself um, to, to lead the devotion. If the first time you read it uh, is when you sit down in front of the kids, um, it's going to be very hard to lead the devotion. You need to be familiar with the content before uh, you lead your family uh, in the content. So know what you're going to be covering uh, before you sit down uh, with your family. Uh, third, third tip uh, to make this uh, flow a little easier for you, um, delegate. Don't feel like you have to do everything in this packet yourself. Um, in fact, don't feel like you got to do everything in this packet. Um, if, if you want to try to shorten the devotions a little bit um, or uh, adjust them a little bit for your family, please do. Um, but uh, try to delegate some of the activities. We give a suggestion for a candle lighting uh, um, ceremony through, throughout each devotion. And, and you don't have to be the one that does that. You can delegate that uh, to, um, a, a, if you have a teenager in the home, you can delegate that to the teenager, a responsible adult, so somebody else to do that part of the, the, the devotion time. Uh, you can, like I said earlier, you can have the kids cut out the pictures. Um, or if you have uh, kids of reading age, you can actually let them read uh, parts of scripture and parts of the devotion let, and, and take turns reading uh, parts of the devotion. Get everybody involved as much as possible. Um, and remember that uh, 
you know, if you have any questions about the content, we're here for you. That's, uh, that's what we're here for. So as you're preparing, if you have any questions uh, or concerns uh, about it, feel free to reach out um, because we're here for you and we're praying for you. Uh, we know these are difficult times. So uh, looking forward to hearing how, how this activity goes for you and your family, and we hope you have a blessed Easter. Take care.